Hello everyone, welcome to class fundamentals part B of CM1. I'm Pratap here from Smears Education Solutions. I'll discuss compound interest rates today in the class. Although you must have studied compound interest rate in arithmetic, however, this is a very, very important formula and this is required throughout this course, CM1. So solve some problems, learn it properly. There is a single formula. If A is deposited for N years, it will grow to A into one plus I power N. This is the formula for compound interest rate. If you have never studied simple interest rate, then you can go to the previous video. You can complete that and you can come back here because we'll discuss problems today in the class where you need the knowledge of simple interest as well. So this is the formula for compound interest rate. Money will grow this way. Power, power is there, N is the power. If you see after one year, Sorry, A, I have to write here. A will gain interest. AI. So in one year, A will grow to A plus AI. Here, I is the interest amount. Interest per annum per unit sum assured. Unit sum deposited so per amount if i is given 10 percent that means i is 10 per 100 so i can't be 10 because here in actual science we take i interest per unit sum assured unit sum assured one amount 10 percent means 100 will give you 10 extra in one year not one in one year, 100 will grow to 110. So I will be equal to 0 0.10 if I is 10%. That is something you need to remember for all the times to come. If I is given 15%, you should write I is 0 0.15. And if I is 0.15. So if you deposit one, you get I extra. That means your money will grow to 1 plus i. If you deposit 100, you get 100 plus 100 i. The interest amount will be 100 i. That way, if you deposit a, you will get a i extra and that is a into 1 plus i after one year. If you can continue that further, suppose here you want to know after two years, this amount, suppose this is B, B will give you B plus I, B plus B I, that is B into 1 plus I. And write the value of B here, that is A into 1 plus I, into 1 plus I. So this will be A into 1 plus I square. This way, in two years, it will grow to A into 1 plus I square. It's like this. If you deposit an amount A after one year, you will get A into 1 plus I. And after two years, it will grow to A into 1 plus I square. You can continue. And then after N years, you will have A into 1 plus I power N in your account. Note that N could also be a fraction. That means not only you write this after five years 
a will grow to a into 1 plus i power 5. But also, you can write after three and a half years, a will grow to a into 1 plus i power 3 and a half. So the power will be the number of years here. It will depend for how many years you want to deposit. We'll solve some problems on compound interest on compound interest rates. However, I would like to write the simple interest formula as well so that there will be no problem solving the problems. Let me write both simple formula, simple interest and compound interest formula. After n years, if you deposit, it will grow to a into 1 plus n i, n is the coefficient here. And in this case, a will grow to a into 1 plus i power n, a multiplied by 1 plus i power n. Remember the difference here, n is the coefficient and here n is the power n is the power here, n is the coefficient here, that is the only difference. This is the first problem, Mohit deposited 8000 with a finance company for 3 years at an interest rate of 50% per annum. What is the accumulated amount after 3 years? So let me write, this is 0, number line is very very important, make it sure to draw a number line each time. 3 years here, amount 8000, i is given 15%, so I'll write i 0.15 and then here the accumulated value will be 1 plus 3i. And this will be equal to 1 plus 3 multiplied by 0.15. That's all. Sorry, this is compound interest. We'll write it 1 plus i power 3. 0.15 power 3. You can use a calculator and find its value can check it 1 to 167. Go down second problem. What will be the accumulated value on 4000 in two years when rate of interest is 5% per annum? So what is given here? Initial amount 4000. Time two years, accumulated value 4,001 plus i power 2. And the accumulated value will be 4,000 into 1 point because i is 5% per annum. This will be 0 0.05. You find its value, you should get 4410. This is per annum, 5% per annum. Next, number three. What will be the difference between? 
what will be the difference between simple and compound interest at 10% per annum on a sum of 1000 for 4 years okay so these are the two things one is simple let's write it properly Let me write simple and compound here. Thousand for four years. Thousand will grow to thousand into one plus four i. And here in four years. Thousand will grow to thousand into one plus i power four. Now you need to find the difference. So the answer will be thousand into i is ten percent per annum. So I will put one point one zero. One point four zero. This is one plus four i. So if you find this value using a calculator, you will get sixty four point one zero. Next problem: the compound interest on thirty thousand at seven percent per annum is given. The period you need to find. You need to solve this equation and find the period here. This is your number line. Zero n. We don't know n here. What we know is this one thirty thousand, and we know i seven percent. You can write i point zero seven. The interest rate is given. So the final amount is the total compound interest rate is given four three four seven. This is the final amount you have. You gained this extra amount because you deposited this amount for n years. You need to find n. So you write simple equation thirty thousand. One plus i power n should give you thirty-four three four seven. You have to solve this and find the value of i. Now, i is given seven percent. So you have to find the value of n. You write this way. That will be equal to thirty-four three four seven divided by thirty thousand. Then whatever this value is, you can take log both the sides. Okay, we have this much space. Now we can take log both the sides. Ln one point zero seven n is equal to. Thirty-four, three, four, seven divided by thirty thousand. So n will come here. N into ln one point zero seven is whatever you have here. You solve this equation. You can get this from the calculator. Get this from the calculator. N you will get. And check that n is equal to. Do really? You can check it. Thirty thousand into one plus one point zero seven square should be equal to this one.
Now, at what rate of compound interest? Here you have to find I. There you found N. At what rate of compound interest per annum will a sum of twelve hundred becomes this in two years? Now, this one is given. Zero and one three four eight point three two time period two years. So I play the formula. This into one plus i power two. That is equal to one three four eight point three two. So here to find i anyway you have to take log. How about this, the previous problem? You wanted to find n here. Okay. In some cases you will be able to find directly also. One plus i square is equal to one three four eight point three two divided by one two zero zero. Then take the square root of this. You will get one plus i. Subtract one. You will get directly the value of i. You can check that at six percent. Initially, if you solve some problems, it will be very easy for you to go and start CM one later from class one. We'll have one more fundamental class before going to CM one class one. This much for today's class. If you are able to follow, if you enjoyed, please like and share this video so that others will also get the benefit and possibly subscribe to our channel to keep up with our latest content. Thank you.